Hey guys, it's Yvette and I am reviewing a book that's called Matchmaking for Beginners and it is written by Maddie Dawson. Um, I read this book about a two three weeks ago um, and I just wanted to share my review of it. I thought that this book was an excellent read. Um, the only complaint I think I would have is that um, not that the story itself was slow, but almost like from where I thought the where the where the story ended up, I kind of thought that it could have gotten to that point a little bit sooner, and then maybe we could have gotten a little bit past that to know a little bit more of what was happening after the end of the book, that kind of thing. Um, but I did think it was a great book. Um, the book is about. Uh, the character is Marnie McGraw, and she, at the beginning of the book, is engaged to um, a man, and what's his name? Does it matter what his name is? Well, anyway, she's engaged at the beginning. I'm reading the synopsis so that I can uh, make sure that I'm mentioning all the names correctly because I'm terrible at names. <laughs> I'm sure you guys remember that about me. Um, so what she's doing is she's going to this Christmas party at the beginning of the book and the Christmas party is thrown by her fiance's family and uh, they're a bunch of women and they all you know uh, wear red and there's this certain dish that is served and you know blah 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 blah. so his great aunt I think it's his great aunt maybe it's just his aunt um, but her name is Blix she lives in Brooklyn and this uh, party is going on, sounds to me something like Atlanta or something like that, um, somewhere down south. And <laughs> so Blix is there and of course she's known as Black Sheep of the Family and all this kind of thing. Everybody says she's uh, like a witch or whatnot. Um, and as soon as Blix meets Marnie, um, she kind of has this, feels this connection with her and knows that she just gets this revelation where she's like, okay, this is what's going to happen with Marnie. I need to push her in this direction. Um, what on earth was that? I'm so sorry. Jelly Bean was scratching his fingernails down the wall <laughs> and it sounded like nails on a chalkboard. It's freaking me out. Um... Where in the heck was I? <laughs> that was so weird. Um, okay, so she she knows that Marnie is not going to be happy with her um, her nephew, and so you know she's kind of telling her, you know, well, you know that may you know things may not work out, and you know blah blah blah. And so anyway, Marnie does marry um, her nephew, and it lasts like a week, and then they get a divorce. Now I'm not telling you anything that you wouldn't find out in the synopsis. So, um, you know, so all of these things end up happening where um, you know Blix is thinks of herself as like a matchmaker, right? Like she sees people and they have like a spark or a color and she sees another person and she kind of, she just knows. She has like this inner sense that they're, they belong together. And so she does everything she can to get them together. And she knows that Marnie has this too. And, um, you know, and kind of tells Marnie that, you know, I think this is what you need to be doing. Don't you see, you know, these things? And Marnie's, you know, thinks in the back of her head, oh, yeah, I do sort of think, see those things. Um, and so when Blix dies, which is also in the synopsis, so that's not anything. She's a very old lady at the beginning of the, of the book. Um, she leaves her estate to Marnie. And, of course, Marnie is, you know, she, you know, the whole thing, the, the story, like, just sort of propels forward um, in maybe what you would think is a predictable way. I am one of those people who I just kind of go with the flow with a book. I don't try to overanalyze things or, or whatever because to me that makes, you kind of setting yourself up 
to be disappointed or like if you're just constantly looking for, you know, oh, I knew that was going to happen or, you know, what, I don't know. I'm just not that kind of person. I prefer to just follow the author along wherever they're going um, <laughs> with the story. And I try not to read too much into it ahead of time. Sometimes it just happens, you know, but if it does, I also don't hold that against the author. I, as long as the writing is done well and I really enjoy the characters, that's the thing that's most important to me. I really like just the story and the people and um just kind of um kind of develop here or, or watching the development of a rapport between other characters I like that part um so I based on that I thought this was a really great book it was an easy read um nothing you know crazy about it I would call it you know chick lit that's what I would call it. And um, I do occasionally enjoy books like that. I also like um, mysteries, murder mysteries especially. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Crime, fiction. Um, I really enjoy those kind of books. The, the scarier, the better. Um, the gorier, the better. I don't care. I like, I just, I like reading that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so I thought this book was really good. And um, I did give it five stars on Goodreads, but you know, have you ever like sat there and you've reviewed a book and then you kind of change your mind a little bit? Because I think I probably would take it down to maybe like four and a half, but since you can't do that, I would just leave it at five. Um, because it was a good book, um, but I wouldn't put it up there as like one of my absolute fave of all time. And that's probably what I should be basing it on whenever I'm doing my good read reviews. Um, I kind of tend to, like when I'm in that moment and reviewing a book, I just kind of think about how do I feel right at that moment, you know, when I probably should like let it simmer a little bit and see how it goes. Um, but I did think it was a good book. Um, like I said, nothing you know, earth shattering about it or anything like that. Um, I just thought that the characters were lovely. The story was great. I thought it could have moved along a little bit faster. So we know a little bit more after, but, um, other than that small critique, I thought it was a great book. So, um, if you're looking for just a easy read, I can highly recommend matchmaking for beginners by Maddie Dawson. I'll put all the information down below for you. <laughs> Bye.